Howdy folks, it's me, Manning Mark, coming to you from the Bunker System, located underneath the Art Bell Pond, somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest, and today we're coming to you with, I just, just, just talk normal, okay, um, <laughs> oh man, okay, mm. anyway, stop it, stop it, just, this is normal, okay. Even with the antidepressants, yes, okay. Um, I just made I made a list of things I wanted to talk about because stuff builds up inside ideas and thoughts, and I'm thinking about actually kind of cleaning up around here today. So I, I need I want to I love I got some furniture pieces. Um, I love to find some way to get to dispose of um, very cheaply art painted pieces. Um, I built a like a facsimile pinball machine um, based on aliens coming down to visit the Earth. You haven't seen it yet. I need to work on it, update it, and I think I'm going to fix, work on the mechanism. I made it so it would actually shoot a ball, you know. Um, I'm thinking about working on that today. Um, but I'm taking it. It's cooled down. It went from, I swear, it went from 99 degrees, which was a tie. It was record high or it tied. And then in two days, like yesterday, it didn't get above 70. It was in the 60s. It just, right from spring to fall. And spring to fall, summer to fall. You're going on too long. First thing I want to talk about is handling animal poop. I'm listening to the radio, and they're talking about some kind of, and I didn't write it down because I was half awake, some kind of disease or something like that. And they're talking about washing your hands, like all constantly, all the time, washing your hands, and not to handle animal poop. What am I supposed to do? Leave the dog poop on the floor around the house when Mr. Burns has an accident? Which he does quite often. That's the bad thing about the winter because I shut the back door and the dog's like, well, the back door shut. What am I going to do? Um, in, in the spring and summer when it's warm, not 99 degrees, I actually break down and turn the air on. But that's, you know, most of the time the door could there, go on. Cut that out. The next thing is... Um, Babes on television, you know, if notice how every everywhere you go and every show, eventually, even if they don't at the beginning, eventually, like American Pickers, you know, they got that that woman, that girl, young woman back in the office, you know, with that tattoo necklace and everything. She's kind of exotic. Um, you know, come to think of it, Pawn Stars, the highly high, most highly rated show, I think, on cable. They don't, they don't have, a, but when a babe comes in, they, you know, shoot the, the babe selling the stuff, but they don't actually have a babe. So that doesn't hold true, but most, almost every show, there'll be um, some kind of like, my aunt Inc., they got the other exotic girl, you know, and um, like the Fox News Channel, yeah. You know, if you watch the Fox News Channel and you say that to somebody and they just say, you're a you could say, oh no, it's not for the news. I watch it for the news, babes. That's what you say. Okay, uh, so, but last night you, it was spilling over and everything, and there was a science program on last night. And there was this um, science babe. I'm going to call her science babe from JPL. My wife says, what's JPL? And I said, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. She goes, you don't know what it is. And I said, that's it. I think that's it. Um, she doesn't believe anything I say. It doesn't, she doesn't believe me. Um, and she was wearing a sort of this tight red sweater, and she's really pretty. And I'm like, this can't be. How can she work there with all these nerds and be so hot? It doesn't make any sense. It must be driving the, the nerds around her absolutely crazy. And then I was started thinking about because she would talk in these very complexly structured sentences about stuff like, I had to write it down, Megatron, stars, and neutrons, and... There were a lot of Tron words, and she just went on and on and on about all that until my eyes glazed over, and I started thinking about what if I was married to the science babe, and we had to go to like a JPL party of all her coworkers, which of course includes software engineers and other kinds of structural engineers and and people that can figure out how to put a a, a box the size of a cooler that you would put Bud Light Lime in and go to the NASCAR in the infield looking for a couple having sex in a, in a van 
while you're drinking your Bud Light Lime, send that cooler all the way to Mars and get it. How do they do that? I don't understand it. Talking about that, and I'm there with her, my wife. Why does she like me? She's got an issue she never resolved, and she meets me, and she tries to work out her issues through me. I don't know what the issues are. Why? I have no idea why anybody would be attracted to me, frankly. So anyway... There, there we are at the party, and all her highfalutin, high-minded, Mensa-type individuals are surrounding her because they're like, yeah, you know, and then, but they want to know about me because they can't figure, you know, they can't even, this is something, they have to figure everything out. That's just the way these science people are. So they say, hey, you're with, I'm like, yeah, uh, well, what do you do? I say, draw pictures during the day. Really? You draw pictures? Yeah, what did you draw today? I drew a picture of... A character, a, a, a new character. What? Well, what guy? I, it's, his name is Mr. Wiener. Mr. Wiener. Yes, he's a wiener with a wiener. A wiener with a wiener. Yes, but I usually put jockey shorts on him so as not to offend the people that are interested in my drawings. At that point, as in most of the parties I go to, which is hardly any at all. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because I get very grumpy, because it's usually younger people, and they're all like, yeah, and they're talking and everything, and, and they're talking about stuff like they put the, the girls separate from the men, and the men separate from the girls. I'd rather be with the women, frankly. I don't know what's wrong with those other guys. But, and then you're standing there, and what do young guy, men, professional men talk about? The frickin' new car they bought, the new house, some sports team, I mean, like, Anyway, that's the end of that. I would, have, but that's what I would just go. I would try to find the lunar module replica in a display somewhere at JPL and crawl into it and take a nap until the party was over. Go on, okay. Um, so the next show was actually the show before that, but it got me thinking about the show previous to that. They were talking about volcanoes, and so they had these two babes on. But they, they they weren't. So this doesn't hold true. But this was like totally opposite. And I have to be sensitive about this. But then there's the one babe talking about the volcano. They found the super volcano in Yellowstone Park. And how many times it's happened. And how do they figure this out. And there's a, you know, like a band of this color stone. And they know that it, anyway. So then they're, I'm like half paying attention. Because it's all way above my head. Talking about, and then I heard this other voice, these two women together, and this other voice says, Yes, and then the gray stone and the ash and the volcano. And I'm like, What? My wife's, What? And we're looking, like, Wait a minute, there's an apple on that dude. An Adam's apple. An Adam's apple on that dude. And it's like, That's not, that's a science sex change, babe. I don't care. It was interesting. It was just like the voice didn't, and you had to figure out what was going on. And that's it. Why? Because science, people that like to watch science people on TV try to figure out everything about them. That didn't go over very well. Um, oh, wow. I'm out of stuff to talk about. Thank God. And uh, here's a tune from Sister Mary Mar Mar Renee. She's not singing it. She's playing the court of Vox. She's got... Um, a friend of hers, another sister, what well, was Rosemary, whatever, I didn't write it down, from St. Francis, um, um, somewhere. Anyway, I couldn't believe it when I listened to this tune off of this record. It's amazing. Okay, enjoy yourself. There you go. Thank you for stopping by. Should I play the tiki drummer? No, there's no time. I went on too long. Mm -hmm.